and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So I've just had some deliveries and things that I was waiting on, thank goodness they've arrived now. Um, things like sublimation paper that I really, really needed and um, some other bits and bobs that I need for the studio. I'm still waiting on the coasters because we've sold out coasters, but we've sold some in the shop. I think we're totally gonna have to start making them in bulk and only listing what's available because at the moment we're doing things like coasters and mouse mats is made to order. So I think in the new year we're gonna do a new system. I said that last year, I'm pretty sure I said that last year. Anyway, uh, now I've just got this that's arrived, which is the thank you cards, which I made um, a couple of days ago if you've been watching watching my vlogmases so i'm gonna unpackage these they look really bright and they look really cute i really like how they turned out i'm gonna unpackage these and check everything's okay with them so uh, let's do that now and see what they'll look like together i might as well where's the where's the scissors there they are so these actually look really cute now because i was away in florida these ideally should have started going out um in november but only just got them in I ordered 500 because I didn't want um, loads left over over Christmas but basically uh, you'll only get one of these if you order from the Etsy shop and it just says tis the season to be jolly so you can pin it up on your wall this is really hard to open what the flip there we go um, and yeah it just has a thank you note on the back which I'm gonna check in a second and I feel like this might be a little bit too many to be honest might have to save some for next year as well or maybe I can use it in January who knows so this is the front of them and I got them on 100% recycled paper it's a little smudge on this one so I always look at the second one in to see how that looks and it says tis the season to be jolly oh I think these would have actually made really cute green cards or art prints and you can kind of just like pin it to your wall if you order from my Etsy store you'll get one of these in your packages and I'll pin it to I might pin it to the wall now because it looks adorable and it's got ginger and spice on the bottom and then on the back it's just a thank you note from us saying uh, thank you so much for choosing a shot with us at catnip so yeah ideally I should have ordered these in November and these should have started going out in November because now it's a little bit late for international post and things like that so yeah I'm gonna end up being stuck with like quite a lot of these but I can use them for next Christmas um because they're still cute but that's how many we've got and I doubt I'll get through all these at Christmas but I think I might send them out um during winter and stuff because I don't know let me know your thoughts on this guys would you mind me still sending these out in January or should I put them away for next Christmas after uh, the Christmas orders are done let me know your thoughts on that but that's the pile that I've got I ordered 500 of those and normally I order them in batches of a thousand um but yeah it looks really cute so happy with that now I'm going to just jump on orders and I'm going to try and make up a bunch of products because we finally got the jet pro soft stretch for the pin banners and yeah we've got quite a lot of orders that need to go out with pin banners and stuff uh, so that's what i'm going to do now it's now 3 p.m and i have been trying to sort out some orders and stuff but i just need to take some orders to the post uh, that we fulfilled yesterday uh, yesterday after 5 p.m so i'm going to quickly take them so that they make sure to send them out in today's post and then i'm going to come back and i'm just going to have a massive order making and fulfillment session going on because i've got tons and tons of pin banners to make up so yeah heading off to the post office and then let's get to work i've actually got my first ever slimming world group tonight as well at well it's meant to be five o'clock but i think i'm going to go to the 7 p.m version at uh, 7 p.m version what is this an application or a game or something anyway i'm gonna go to the 7 p.m one i'm kind of dreading it because if you obviously i've been to florida and i've been on holiday and i kind of went a little crazy so i'm a little bit worried about my way in but i really need to get everything done before then that means i've got three now well half three nearly now so half three half four five <sighs> 
that's not a lot of time to make all these pin banners so my goal by the end of the day is to get all those pin banners done before Slimming World if I'm in the zone then I might have to wait for Saturday to go there but yeah we need to rush and get this done so rather than talking to the camera I'm gonna pop to the post office let's go shall we shoes are coming off that means it's work time It's several hours later now, it's pretty late. It's five to seven, so just in the nick of time. I've finished making up all the pin banners, so Mike's actually in tomorrow to fulfill some orders. So I'll probably jump on them with him. With him, I can't speak English for some reason. But I'll jump on these orders with him tomorrow because these still need the little poles going through and the end caps. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely Aggie Jaggy shop. She's um, got the cutest little shop ever and she does like conventions and she's placed an order. And she actually uses these um, to display her pins for her conventions and stuff, which I think is such a cute idea. So on a convention stall, she has the pin banners and then all the pins that she designed on there. So yeah, I've got to finish them off tomorrow and package them all up and stuff. But can you believe the amount of pin banners and pin hoops that have gone out? This must be the biggest order I've ever done. And I've just nearly ran out of pin hoops, so I ordered some more. Uh, but I managed to get them all made that are in the orders and stuff. So, phew, thank goodness. So now it's five to seven, so I'm going to rush off to get to Slimming World. And I've been watching this really interesting talk by Mar Marissa Peer. I think I've seen her before doing a speech and stuff. I love self-improvement and stuff like that. So I love listening out. And I think you guys should totally check it out. And if you listen to any of her stuff, like Marissa Peer is a name. And she just basically talks about um, being enough and believing that you're enough and stuff. But yeah, still got lots to do. But yeah, now I need to get my shoes back on. There they are. And I need to shut my window. I opened my window for a bit of fresh air because I was getting a little tired and I like to be cold. I don't know why. I prefer to be cold than hot when I'm working. Um, and I was getting a little warm from all the movement and stuff and making the pins. But I'm so happy with myself for managing to get those orders done um, and fulfilling all them. So I feel happy now leaving um, the studio. I'm just shutting down shutting down photo shot and i want to get that up but i'll probably do all the tags and stuff when i'm home so that probably won't go up till about half eight uh yeah but for now let's do this weighing at slimming world i'm a little bit nervous because of obviously being on holiday and stuff so a little bit nervous to get on the scales but wish me luck guys oh look at the electricians next door i've got a nice blue leaf but to get my laptop out of the studio. Trusty fire extinguisher doorstop. Also, I got sent this gift, but I couldn't find who the name was. They sent me this lovely note in this little cute unicorn box, and I put it here so I could let you guys know. If it's you, please let me know if you sent me this. It says, 
coral or carol, I think. Um, but it was such a lovely gift. Thank you so, so much to whoever sent me that. Anyway, I really need to go. Need to pack up my laptop. Oh, I forgot I need a hard drive out of the other office. But damn it, I'm gonna have to unlock the other office again. Oops, good job I came back in here because I forgot to turn my tree off. That was a bit silly. And it would have died. And I've only had it for like a day. Haha, -ha, I've got it. So I'm gonna head off to Southern World now, guys, and I will see you when I'm back at home. I'm home. I've been reading people's YouTube comments and they really like you talking on here. You're becoming a superstar. <laughs> You're born to be a star, Fluffs. Just look at that face. It's adorable. I thought you'd try again. What do you feel about being a YouTube a YouTuber? Excuse me? I was talking to Daisy there, not you. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, little fluffs. Oh. You love me really, don't you? Just put a big act on in front of the camera. Tell everyone you really love me and you're a softie, really. See? <laughs> what about you, Diz? Do you love me? Do you love me? I know you love me. <laughs> so Dean's cooked me a curry. I've, I think I've burnt it in the microwave because it's a bit dried. Then I've just got a drink of blackcurrant juice. I can finally have my tea and then I think I'm going to edit some Florida vlogs. Who's trying to sabotage me and won't let me edit? I don't know, I think it's the lighting. This lighting in here is making it like do that weird strawby thing. I don't know why. Just a little, little bit of context for you. Whenever I put my voice on, she like looks on the screen. Look. Oh, what the heck? Dean, every time I put the voice on, Fluffy will just like go and like look at the screen and sit on my laptop. <laughs> Fluffs, I'm trying to edit the Florida vlogs. Okay, it's a little bit late and my disc says it's almost full, but I've just finished doing my Florida vlogs. Thank goodness, or at least day one anyway, but I'm not going to upload it until tomorrow because it's there's no point and it's a little bit late now. And also, the thumbnail file is on my main PC in the office. 
Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight, Daisy. You have to, it's late now, it's bedtime. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Is it tomorrow? It's weird because it's the 5th today. No, it's not, it's the 4th today. So I keep getting confused about what Vlogmas Day is. Anyway, Fluffy keeps sitting on my laptop. It must be because it's nice and warm and toasty. What are you doing, Daisy? You are so cute. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying watching these Vlogmas series. I'm currently in my pyjamas and yeah, I'm gonna head on to bed. I've had literally like a fireplace with music um, CD on in the background while I edited my vlogs. Uh, so yeah, the Florida vlog is gonna go on my personal vlog channel. So if you wanna go check that out, uh, that'll be uploaded tomorrow or today by the time you're watching it it'll already be uploaded um, and yeah I'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 5 and yeah let me know in the comments if you've been enjoying it okay then thanks for watching love you and goodbye